Normally, I see all stories before they air here on the weekend. Well, they kept this one from me, and they said just to trust Craig Worth, so I'm trust trusting me, you. Pal. Oh, I'm and it's because, as you know, I'm absolutely excited about every story I get to cover. The subject of this story is no different, but the reason that I'm doing it is difficult for me. You see, my old buddy Randall's retiring from TV news, and the station gave me the impossible task of summing up his career, your career, pal. <laughs> Bear with me. I might get a little choked up. It's hard to find a picture of Randall before he was in news. After all, he won an Ohio contest to get on the radio at age 14. Yes, he was a choir boy. But here is the Randall that is so cool. He was part of maybe the biggest rock radio empire around. CKLW, the Motor City. Yes, CKLW of Windsor, Ontario and Detroit. So big, he did men's store ads, but he was famous for news. 2020 News, and here with our first report this morning is Randall Carlisle. Three weeks old and still no end in sight. That's about all we can say about the Ford strike today. A haircut and TV would change his life. It wasn't long until he would be noticed in Salt Lake City. News director Jack Gelliman brought him to Utah for one of our competitors. He is Randall Carlisle. Watch him tonight at 6 and 10. Hour after hour after hour watching videotapes from around the world. And um, I, that was the first time I saw Randall Carlisle. And, and in the context of seeing every other anchor man in the country, he really sort of leapt out. It worked for the competition. One thing that I think really successful television uh, personalities have in common is that they can write. If you can write, you can think, you talk, you can tell a story. Randall became famous for his Wednesday's child pieces. You've never met anyone quite like Sean. He's 13, but he functions more like a five or six year old, and that's not so bad if you think about it. He's full of joy and laughter and innocence and always will be. Think what it would be like to have someone like that in your life. It's where I met Randall 37 years ago. And of course, both of us would later come over here to Channel 4. But first, Randall went to Minnesota. He did big stories. Oh, one neat thing. He got to ride on Air Force Two with the new vice president. Who is the real Dan Quayle? How would you describe yourself? Well, the real Dan Quayle is somebody that is dedicated to his family. He was classic Randall. Yes, classic Randall. I was the only guy in the newsroom who could do that. <laughs> and they said goodbye in Minneapolis. Well, Randall, I just want to be among the chorus of those wishing you good luck in your new job in Dallas. As he was heading to Texas. This is Texas News 5 with Randall Carlisle. But we knew where he belonged here at Channel 4. News director John Edwards explains. What we were looking for was basically a Randall Carlisle in a lot of ways. We needed a... For the kind of shows we were doing, we needed a specific kind of anchor. And of all the people we looked at, all the people we tested, he came up on top. And now, News for Utah at 10. And Randall was back. More than 2,700 people were inside the library at the time of the shooting. He would become one of the legendary anchors of Salt Lake News. In 1990, they were the big six of everyone's TV. Randall's co-anchor was, of course, Kimberly Perkins. I had the privilege of sitting next to you, and you made me better every night. You were kind of my TV husband, and how lucky was I to have you. So I just want to say thank you, I miss you, I love you, and we hope to see more of you now. The chemistry was amazing. It was an Craig honor to work with them. Craig, if people are watching this and they want to get in on the celebration, there's still a lot of other things going on downtown uh, after, after the reenactment. Oh, absolutely. There's, there's a lot of things going on. Randall was the voice you wanted to hear on the big stories. Tornadoes aren't supposed to touch down in Utah, but one did. And for the last five years, Randall has been the big story. 
the person we have turned to, and of course, the voice of the weekends. Many of the lakes in this metro area are... Said and it is on this last Sunday night, I am honored to be the one entrusted with this report to say goodbye to a legend, to a newscaster, who so many welcomed into their homes, and goodbye to a friend. Randall Carlyle, 2020 News. Now, more music with Tom Shannon at CKLW. May the hits just keep coming, Randall. <laughs> Do you like my hair longer or shorter? Yeah, well, I'm jealous of anyone that had hair. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I mean, I that be. was what was impressive. Randall, 37 years ago, I, I remember when you walked into the newsroom. Into and, Channel 2. Yeah, and I, I just, I mean, who would know and who would guess, but I got to tell you, you've touched my life. You've certainly been a mentor to me in these years and to so many of us. You've been just a welcome person in people's homes. And I know they put the Facebook notice about you uh -huh. and instantly, like two, three hundred people replying. That's what you've done in people's homes. You've come into their homes, they invited you into their living rooms night after night to watch television. And I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm honored and to have you as a friend but to have you professionally as a colleague, and thanks so much for all that you've done. Thank you. Uh